Hey you guys, what's up? I hope you're all having an awesome day. I will admit at the moment I feel so good. Those actual, those few days I had off were actually awesome. And you guys aren't gonna believe it, but I'm actually like, I'm actually back into it. The day after I said that I was gonna take a break, I'm actually filming that day. It is currently Thursday and I am going to go check out a car for my good friend Jacob Steele. You guys might remember Jacob from a few videos previously where we did like the horns on the Elantra. <laughs> He also lived with me for a fair bit and for the last couple of months he's been looking around for a Turbo Falcon. So today I thought I'd go and help him out and go check out this red G6C that we found on Facebook Marketplace. It looks really beautiful, it's up for $16,000 at the moment, completely stock, apart from the fact it has an Ants Turbo side intake which I'm very very happy about. So yeah, let's head out to Gold Coast and go check it out. Today's also been the first day that I've actually gone back to driving this car. It smells a little bit of power steering fluid but uh, happy days. Oh yeah, one thing I completely forgot to add. One thing I can't, one thing I'm finding crazy at the moment is the fact that Turbo Falcons at the moment are so expensive. When I purchased mine, I had 170,000 Ks, I think, 175. It was 12 and a half grand, but there were some out there that were like 9, 8, 10 grand and stuff like that. Now you can't find a stock one with less than 150,000 Ks. For anything like below 16 grand, it is mental. And stuff like mine that have had like light mods, 440 horsepower, which is pretty standard, they go for like 22 grand. So if anyone wants to hit me up and buy my car for 22 grand, I'm more than happy. Oh, and also I'm not gonna be driving this car anymore without one of these. I appreciate all the messages you guys have been giving me in regards to how many of you actually went to Cap Industries and actually purchased one of their products. Um, this what that video wasn't sponsored at all and a lot of people actually went out and purchased their stuff. Cap, if you're watching this and uh, want to sponsor me, please let me know <laughs> um, because I'd be more than happy to grab a few more extinguishers off you but super happy this is now in the car and I encourage everyone to go out and get one as well. So yes, now that I have that, I'm actually, I actually feel safe driving my car again. Um, I will admit this morning I was super, super worried and I was always looking at the back for smoke. Um, I could smell it but there's definitely no chance that this thing will catch fire again. Alrighty, let's head into Gold Coast. Rightio, so we've just arrived out here. Let me show you guys the car that we're going to be having a look at today. Rightio, guys, so the car we've come here to see today is this beautiful red G60 Turbo. Look at that right there. Right, let's jump out. Let's go have a look at it. The black interior never looks that nice. <laughs> it's hard to find them that actually look clean and mm. are worth something. I really want to build a, um, the roof pillars to match the hood lining. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay, yep, so you've already got a black hood lining. Okay, cool. You can just get that, um, what's it, the vinyl spray, whatever it is, yeah. That was my plan. Yep. Yeah, it looks really nice. I love all the chrome strips around the G6E as well. Yeah. It's just the alignment always goes on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just Falcons in general. <laughs> Sucks, eh? I don't think they even use the back seats, do you? <laughs> I was going to say, they look amazing. Yeah, I only put like 1,000 Yeah, right. Is that it? How many Ks have you put on the car yourself? Only about 4,000, that's it. Oh, only about 4,000, yeah, right. Oh, I wish I had these seats in my car. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. If I'm I... honest with you, I'm owning the Mark II FG, I yep. think the cloth seats are comfier than the You reckon? Yeah. Yep. But they look way nicer. Yep, oh, definitely. <laughs> and I love the fact you can set the different modes and everything else as well. It's it's programmed to the key as well, isn't it? Uh, I've no idea. Oh, you've only got the one, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's all right. Oh, it's actually a really clean, yeah. really clean car. Excellent. Do you mind if I pop the bonnet? Perfect. Excellent. Oh, did that work? Hopefully that did. Oh, okay. Oh, excellent. <laughs> you must watch my videos. That's right. Oh, really? <laughs> excellent. Oh, that's all right. It's actually looking really nice. Yeah. So everything's standard apart from the turbo side intake. And catch can. Yep. Excellent. Oh yeah, the little tiny catch can there. And a muffler to leak. Yep. Which sounds all right. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't sound that good. Yep. <laughs> I find it so funny that with Seduce they didn't paint the engine bay all the, the all the bottom of the bonnet from standard. It's so weird, isn't it? All right, so we just came down the back of the property at the moment. Um, interior looks really, 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 really nice. And as you can see, putting it into reverse, you have a uh, reverse camera. You also have the tilty mirror thing. It is so sick. Is it gonna end up going back up? Are you gonna go back up? There you go. 
Excellent. Um, the car's also got a rear muffler delete and a turbo side intake. Ooh, turbo sounds really nice too. I find it so funny that compared to my 76R, the turbos, are, they just sound so different. ZF transmission sounds good. It sounds like it's got the standard blow valve and uh, yeah, it's actually a super nice car. I actually really like it. Really like it. One more little dose test down here. Yeah, it still has a standard blow valve. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I love it. The car feels immaculate. It's insane. Have you done anything suspension wise or is it the standard? Um, no, is that there? I thought I remember reading something about G6s having a different suspension setup for the regular. That I wouldn't even know myself. <laughs> yeah. No, the car feels beautiful. <laughs> car feels absolutely beautiful. Um, all the bushes and everything feel great. Yep. Did you have the, the standard blow valve on this, do you? And it's not blocked? It is blocked. It is blocked as well? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You can probably hear it. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably I just fucking slow for you. Yeah, no, I actually, no, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, couldn't believe it. It sounds like, actually, I might pop the bonnet again. Yeah. It's just, it doses so differently compared to mine. True. Oh, definitely. Actually, it's going to be weird again. <laughs> Cheers. Cool. Ah, so it is blocked off. Yep. How does it those two? I don't know. It just sounds different. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess every engine runs a bit different. <laughs> yeah, very true. I mean, it would have been... Uh, I mean, it feels like it comes on so differently compared to a tuned car. Like, just being tuned especially brings yeah. the, the boost up so differently. That's probably much more violent than... Oh, it's yeah. I could... Yeah, I couldn't believe it. It's so different. Um, yeah, well, there you go. So it's all been blocked off and everything? Yeah. Yep. There you go, hey? Much to some people's... Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's exactly right. Car looks nice and clean on the inside and everything. Oh, I didn't show everyone. This is the car we're looking at. <laughs> you don't mind me putting this up on YouTube, do you? Excellent. If you don't get this by, you might get someone else. <laughs> nah, car's excellent. Has the factory limited edition 19 inch alloys, stock suspension. Um, boot looks insanely clean too, like all the carpet and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jacob called me just up the road, so I stopped up there and just walked around it for a little bit, but... Yeah, car looks super nice. All the trims and everything. I love all the, the gloss black interior too. Let's have a look around, see if I can see any oil leaks, but apart from that... I still find it so weird that they didn't paint the engine bay on these. It's just, it's so odd. It doesn't have any known oil leaks that you know of either. Ah, sweet. You're doing three better than my car. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I wouldn't have a clue. All right, guys, so it's currently the next morning. It is an absolutely beautiful day at the moment. And I quickly just wanted to go over what we're looking at with that car right there. Jacob is currently off in New South Wales looking at a black manual Turbo Falcon that's completely stock as well. Um, I can't believe the prices of some of these Turbo Falcons. Like, I picked up mine for 12 and a half around about a year and a year and eight months ago. And, uh, yeah, there were some Falcons, like Turbo Falcons that were there, like 9k, 10k. You know, they, was, they were fairly cheap, and I, I basically I only spent the extra two and a half grand because I wanted the colour. But, yeah, I couldn't believe the fact that Jacob, like, you just, you can't find any Turbo Falcons around at the moment for anything under, like, 16 grand. It's mental. Possibly due to coronavirus, but I'm not quite sure. They might just be in short supply because no one's, you know, wanting to sell their cars at the moment because they're, they're, the future is so uncertain. The whole plan is with the car that he's going to buy. I have a mate up here who's got a whole heap of parts ready to go on that car. Our turbo side intake, um, intercooler piping. We're also going to try and find Jacob an intercooler. Plus, we have my old high flow cap for when I change the exhaust system. Um, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. As soon as the borders between Queensland and New South Wales open back up, I'm going to be driving down there and installing some parts on his car and just basically walking through the whole thing on video. It's going to be so much fun and I absolutely love going to Newcastle. So, um, be a nice little trip. 
I haven't been back down there since the start of January, I believe. So, um, yeah, and Jacob's a really good friend of mine, so it'd be good to catch up with him again. Um, he comes up here a lot, like uh, all Aussie Day and stuff like that, so I'm really, really keen to go down there and uh, work on his car with him, especially because he's come in my car so many times and he's always envied. He's always envied the Ford Falcons, and I'm so glad he's finally got himself one, especially potentially a manual turbo. So, um, yeah. Yeah, super, super proud of him, and yeah, I guess that's where we're going to leave today's video. I'll update you guys if he changes his mind about any of the cars that he's getting. Uh, at the moment, he's looking at, as I said, a black manual turbo, completely stock, and I'll let you guys know what he's going to do as soon as he purchases it. Yeah, I've just heard back from Jacob, by the way. He's getting the black turbo manual. So sick. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.